Holy Father, our loving Heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, the Spirit of the Most High God. Father, we praise and thank you for your presence, your power, for your Holy Spirit. We thank you and praise you for being in our midst this morning, Father. Continue to pour out of your Spirit upon us. Father God, give us a refilling in the name of Jesus. Give us a fresh anointing, O oh God. Anoint this vessel of clay, Father God. Use me. Speak to me and through me. Father, allow your word to go forth with power and authority under the anointing. And Father, accomplish everything that you allow your word to go out and accomplish. Touch the hearts of men and women everywhere. And Father, in all this, we'll be careful to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. We'll be praying and ask it all in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen and amen. amen. To God be the glory. If you have your, let us stand for the reading of the word of God. If you have your Bibles this morning, I would like for you to turn with me to Isaiah chapter number 55. I will only read two verses in your hearing this morning. And it reads as follows, verse number eight. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. May the Lord continue to bless the doers and hearers of his holy word. You may be seated. We were used for subject this morning, learn the ways of the Lord. Amen. Learn the ways of the Lord. In order to learn, you must first give yourself over to study. Mm -hmm. Engage in studying. Spend time in studying what it is that you need to learn. You are studying with the intention of learning. You want to be able to acquaint yourself with the subject a person that you are studying. You need to know their likes and their dislikes, their lifestyle. When you read a novel, you want to find out what the character of the story is about. You cannot get that information from just glancing at the cover of the book. You must go deeper. You must go to the inside of the book and read the story in order to get the complete understanding. You must read the entire story. You can't get halfway through and stop. That means you did not get the full understanding of the individual. You will always wonder what happened or how did the story end. Every wise person will hear what is being said and will increase in his or her learning. Even those who are wise must study and not think themselves too wise to learn. Mm. But by increasing in learning, you are in a position to help others. You can't teach what you don't know. Right. So you that are wise can teach those of us who are trying to get where you are. But to be wise in the things of the world does not mean 
that you have godly wisdom. Mm -hmm. You could be a rocket scientist. I have all the technical skills of the world and still don't have godly wisdom. Amen. Wisdoms come from God the Father, though it will involve observation and instruction. But it's he that gives unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. It really begins with God and our faith in him as Lord and Savior. We as Christians should be knowledgeable of things going on around us. But we have some sick people in this world. We need the discernment of the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. We need godly wisdom and understanding heart. We need to be able to discern what is good and what is evil. Yes. Paul tells us, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may become wise. Mm -hmm. For the wisdom of God is foolishness with man. We are in great danger of deceiving ourselves when we have too high an opinion of human knowledge. We must be sensible of our own ignorance of understanding. So in order to be safe and sure, let us put our trust in the Lord and not in what we think. For earthly wisdom is sensual, fleshly, and devilish. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, it's genuine. There is no mixture in it, no fault or guilt. It is the peace of the Lord. Jesus is the wisdom of God the Father. Amen. Scripture said, he that findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain eternal life with the Lord. Wisdom is bound up with doing the will of the Lord. He said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Yes. Isaiah was just the prophet speaking on behalf of God. But it was and it is the word of God. God sees the whole, but we see in part. Mm -hmm. Often we are satisfied with our limited view of life. Our view of life is restricted by our humanness. But we can still trust ourselves to the one who has unlimited view. How can we come to know the ways of the Lord? One way is to seek him. Seek the Lord early while it is called today. Seek him first. Don't be like the foolish virgins. When the time came to go in, they were not prepared already. While they were away seeking for what they needed, the bridegroom came, and the door was shut. Mm -hmm. Church, don't wait until it's too late. Mm -hmm. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Yeah, yeah. Seek him with your whole heart. Mm -hmm. Seek him with all that is within you. Today is the proper time to accept the grace of salvation that is offered unto everyone. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. Yes. Don't put off today for tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow may not come to you. Mm -hmm. You only have right now. Mm -hmm. Man by searching cannot find out the Almighty unto perfection. So we have the Bible as the record of the revelation of God. 
We must search the scripture in order to learn the ways of the Lord. This is a call to faith and to repentance, to the unsaved, to the wicked, and to the unrighteous. For Christ is the treasure hid in the field of the scripture. We must come to Jesus Christ, our teacher, and set ourselves to learn of him, for he is the master teacher. He has established a great school and has invited us to come to be his scholars. King David said, teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path, for I have not departed from thy judgments. For thou hast taught me your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. So we must daily attend the instructions he gives us by his word and his Holy Spirit. What are we to learn? We must learn Christ, for he is both teacher and lesson. Those that have learned Christ and are saved from the darkness which the world lie under. For we are the children of light, not of darkness. Yes. Another thing we need to do is to forsake our way. We must separate ourselves from all unrighteousness mm -hmm. and wicked doing and come to know the way of the Lord. Yes. The secret of our souls are open before him. It is the Lord that searches the hearts of all men. He knows all of our uprising and our down sitting. Mm. God is greater than our hearts and he knows us thoroughly. Yes, yes. For they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed with the ungodly. Amen. Christians should get great satisfaction in knowing that the Lord tries our hearts. So we need not to be caught off guard in our way of thinking. We need to learn to guard our minds from evil imaginations. Yes. Be careful what you allow to come into your heart. We cannot receive every thought that come in our minds. If you entertain evil thoughts and meditate on them, they will bring about sin yes. and bring forth unrighteousness. We are to submit ourselves entirely over to the Lord, for he knows our thoughts even afar off, before they are conceived in our minds. Yes. He knows when we are lifted up in pride and when we are humble in mind. You cannot fool the Lord and you are not fooling yourself. Mm. For you know when you are in error. You know that man's, he knows that man's thoughts are vain. In every good thought, there is also deceitfulness. Yes, yes. We must learn to think right, do right, and live right as Christians. Amen. Our way of thinking has to change. Amen. Our thoughts of others and our thoughts of ourselves. Church, don't think of yourself more highly than you ought to think. Don't be haughty in mind, but think soberly. We have the mind of Christ. Yes. We have a new way of thinking. The Lord is inviting us to come up higher in our way of thinking. Yes. Church, even though we are in the world, we are not of the world. Mm -hmm. We are children of the most high God. New creatures, we are changed. All things are past and all things has become new. Yes. So let us stop acting like the world and act like who we are, Amen. children of God. Yes. The yes. world is looking, He's, they are observing us. Evil thoughts will keep coming 
unless you refuse to receive them. Mm -hmm. And even then, they will continue to come, but not as often. Don't entertain them. Stop them at the door. Scripture said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. What are you allowing or receiving in your mind today? You only let people in your home who, you're, who you want in there. The same with your heart. If you don't want evil thoughts in your mind, Amen. refuse to let them in. Amen. We are to submit ourselves unto the Lord. And he said, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Start meditating on the word of God. Speak the word against that that you are trying to resist. Church, there is power and authority in the word of God. For greater is Christ that is in each and every one of us than the devil that is in the world. So take a stand against him. He said, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. When it comes to the mind of God, we cannot satisfy this desire. His mind, his ways cannot be known. Accepting and even embracing this truth is a sign of spiritual growth. The ways of the Lord is far above the manner of men. Even though he be high, Yet he has respect to the lowly. Though he is offended by us, yet he urgently requests for us to be reconciled to him. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. We can find rest in Christ Jesus. He said, take my yoke upon you. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. Church, you don't have to continue living in a life that is stressed out and burdensome. Jesus is a burden bearer. Yes. Turn it over unto the Lord yes. and have peace. How are you, my Lord Jesus, in your souls? Yes. Like as a father pitieth his children, the Lord pitieth them that fear him. He is ready to pardon sin to those who truly repent of it. Repentance, if it is true, strikes at the root and washes the heart clean from wickedness. He will do for each of us as he did for King David. Yes. After he had sinned, he said, have mercy upon me, O God. According unto thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions and purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. We need to be washed with the water of the word of the Lord. He had no doubt that God would do what he had requested for him. He is the God that hears and answers prayer. Yes. He hears and answers the prayers of his children. When we realize that we have sinned, we should immediately repent yes. and acknowledge our sin yes. before the Lord. We need the blood of Jesus to cleanse us from our sin. Amen. He also asked the Lord, to create in me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. We cannot make it without the Holy Spirit operating in our hearts. We need the Spirit of God, not the spirit of bondage that will keep us tied up and tangled up in sin. We need to be restored back into fellowship and communion with the Father. For he that covereth his sins shall not prosper. We should not be able to go forward until we get our sin debt problem straight. For covering of sin brings about agitation. 
There is no peace in your soul if you conceal the sinful act. You cannot expect a cure of forgiveness. Mm. But if you confess the sin to the Lord and turn from the sin, you shall find that he is a merciful father yes, and your conscience shall be at ease. Amen. He is our fountain of life yes. that never ceased to bless us with all spiritual blessings. When Jesus Christ lived on this earth in his humanity, he subjected himself to death. The father was able to save him from death. But what would have happened to us if God the Father had saved Jesus from dying? It was his kindness, the kindness of God to us, that he would not suffer that bitter cup. He would not save him. But if, help me Holy Ghost, it was the kindness of God that he would not suffer that bitter cup to pass away from Christ. But then we would have to drink the dregs of it, mm. the cup of his fury. Even though he was a son, he died for our sins Amen. so that we would be able to die to sin. Sin has no more power over us. Jesus was obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. He endured it all for you and I. And when he got up, he got the victory over death, hell, and the grave. Amen. He took the sting out of death. Church, we as Christians have victory over sin. There are many doors you can take to get into this sanctuary. But there is only one door Amen. that leads to God the Father up in heaven. Church, you can't get there by the taking of United Airlines. And there is no highways or byways that you can take to get there. Your navigation system can't get you directions on how to get there. It may direct you from one destination to another here on earth. But the only way you can get to heaven is through Jesus Christ, God's son. Amen. He said, I am the way and the door. It is by him alone that we are saved from our sins. Salvation is to be found through him alone. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. He is the only blood sacrifice Amen. that can give us interest into God's temple. Yes. It is only by him that believers can obtain eternal life. Mm -hmm. For he is the way, the truth, and the life. No need trying to sneak your way into heaven. He is so wide, you can't go around him. He is so high that you can't go over him. He is so deep that you can't go under him. So you must come in at the door. Jesus Christ is our navigator that leads, guides, and directs us as we sojourn in this world. And he will lead us from earth to heaven. We should ask the Lord to lead us to the rock that is higher than I. Mm -hmm. So church, go to your Bible and read and study the word of God. Yes. And trust him to guide you. He promised, I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you should go. Mm -hmm. And I will guide you with my eyes. Church, heaven is our end, but Jesus Christ is our way. God bless you. <laughs> Let us
we don't take for granted this morning that everyone that are here and that has chimed in are saved. So if you are here under the sound of my voice and have not accepted Jesus Christ as Savior and made him Lord of your life, we invite you to come to Jesus right where you are. He is just a prayer away. The scripture says, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart, that God has raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So we invite you to come this morning. Come to Jesus while you have a chance, while there is still time because tomorrow is not promised unto us. Come to him today in Jesus' name. And if you are here this morning and you would like to make shallow your church family, we invite you to come. Come and join up with us. We'll be happy to have you to come to be a part of our church family. Come right where you are. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Shallow, Amen. we're pleased to announce a new member. Her name is Miss Kathy Jones. She's coming on Christian Experience. Hallelujah. If you get a chance after service, please. Welcome her in your own way. Amen. 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 One other announcement. For those who would like the voucher for the farmer's market, please come to the Lord Sanctuary immediately after today's worship service. This is from uh, Deacon Barbara Bryant. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We praise and thank God for Sister Jones. God bless you. Welcome. God bless Amen. you. Welcome. Let us pray. Father
Father, in Jesus' name, we give you all praise, glory, and honor for you alone are worthy. We thank you, Father, for your presence, your power, your Holy Spirit. And we thank you, Father, for allowing your word to go forth with power and authority and accomplishing all that you sent it forth to do. And Father, give us to truly be doers of your word and not just hearers only. And on all this, we be careful to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in Jesus' name. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the covenant of the everlasting covenant, be unto him glory, peace, now and thenceforth and evermore. In Jesus' name we pray and ask it to God be the glory. Amen and amen. Go in peace. God bless you. God bless you.